Good morning. <laughs> I am coming to you early in the morning. Right now it is uh, 6.27 a.m. Believe it or not. I should check my phone. Hold on. It'll give me the real lowdown. 6.27 a.m. Berg time. Eastern Standard Time. It's the last day before Daylight Savings comes into play. And I am coming to you from my favorite location, which is uh, the Camp Hill Prenera. And I decided I'd do a real quick video early this morning. As you can see, I have my makeup on. I have my souffle. The souffle girl, yes. And I also have my coffee you know there you go there goes my lipstick <laughs> I have my nails see nice still pretty red today is an interesting day um, it is eight months to the day today that I have uh, been undergoing hormone treatment which means two-thirds of a year has went by since I've fully started this trip down uh, the path toward womanhood, or as I like to call it online sometimes, I have joined Team Vagina. So, everybody can get on with that uh, party. But, it's been an interesting time. Um, a lot of people have remarked over the, over the months how much they've seen changes in me. I've seen changes in me. I've undergone a few instances where uh, things haven't went well for me, but for the most part, I think everything is doing fine. I've been out of work for five weeks now, and people don't really see me to care or notice or you know whatever somebody asked me the other day well, what is one of the unintended consequences that you found from transitioning because when you go into this you know that there are going to be all these different changes um, you know it can't be helped things are going to happen to you physically that once you start down that path, you, know, you really don't want to stop it. But what's one of the more unintended consequences? What are some of the things that have happened that you didn't expect? And I think the, the biggest thing that's happened to me since going on hormones, since fully embracing femalehood, is caring more. Um, I used to be pretty unemotional. Well, I mean, I was emotional, but I kept it inside. Uh, I've remarked in my last video that for the longest time I was kind of dead emotionally. And that was sort of reawakened before I got on hormones. Now that I'm fully on hormones, now that I've got estrogen coursing through my body, you have mood swings. That's to be expected. But you also find yourself really caring a lot more about things. You enjoy things more. You laugh when you do laugh a little bit more. When you get sad, you really get sad. And when you feel like the end is right behind you, it's a, it's a tough moment to put aside. It really is. And I had one of those moments last night 
where I really wanted to give up. And I mean fully give up. It's it's not easy going through some of the stuff that I go through. And dealing with it on a day-to-day -day basis. I do the best I can. It took me a while to push all that stuff aside because one of the other things that you find as you march toward womanhood is that there's always hope, if that makes sense. There's always a little bit of hope. There's always the possibility that tomorrow is going to be better that you will find what you're looking for or what you're hoping for will come to you. Sometimes I really do feel as if all I do have is hope. It's tough. It, it feels like there are times where all I do, everything I do is done in a vacuum. And I'm the only one who sees it. And the only way that other people know what I'm going through is by when I'm putting out stuff like this. I do hope that by the time I do another one of these videos four months from now, and I celebrate my one year anniversary, yay. <laughs> I do hope there are some better changes in my life. Because it's really not fair to have all these feelings reawakened and not be able to do anything with them. It is kind of a damned if you do, damned if you don't situation. And I think yeah, I'm not the only woman who goes through this. Every woman, I think, goes through this. You do your best. Just like trying to talk over the espresso machine. <laughs> I know I'm not alone. I've had people tell me that all the time. You're not alone but sometimes it does feel that way. Sometimes it feels horrible. And like I said, the one thing we all have is hope. You know? Just gotta hope that tomorrow's gonna be better. And if it's not, then you gotta hope the day after will be. So forth and so on. So here we are, two thirds of a year down. I'm just gonna try and keep on doing what I'm doing. And for sure, I'll make more videos between now and a year from now but I definitely will do a video for my one year anniversary. And I will do my damnedest, I promise, to make it to that one year. Because I have fans and I don't want to disappoint them. <laughs> I really don't, so. Oh, did you see what I said to your kid on yesterday? Take care. And I will talk to you later for that one special person out there. There you go. And you know what that means. Take care. Bye.